Uh, the latest warning has this going uh, northeast at about 50 miles an hour. So this is a fast moving storm. Not only is it fast moving, but it also has a potentially violent tornado, strong to violent tornado. It's a large and extremely dangerous tornado, and this is a life threatening situation. Let me tell you who's in the path of this. And then I'll tell you exactly what to do, and we'll get you through this. So there's a storm moving at 50 miles an hour. And uh, Martin, if you're, you're noticing other stuff, we'll take a look at the velocity signatures here in just a bit. But I want to put an exact storm track. So as of the moment, it's going to be north of Siloam Springs. But here's the area that's going to be impacted by this dangerous tornado potential. Walnut Grove Mission at 1053. 1054 at Twin Oaks, 1058, as you can see, as it's approaching uh, uh, across, and it goes across Highway 412. Call cord is going to be at 1106. So right now it is 1046. You don't have a lot of time for this storm. And heads up, since it's moving at 50 miles an hour, and the environment is ripe for tornado potential, this storm could be moving into Benton County. And Benton County will be affected by Decatur, Gravit, also parts of northern sections of Benton County, and there's also flash flood warning. So we've got an intense storm. So we're interrupting programming as we have a potentially life threatening, dangerous situation. Now, the good news is, is we've got our storm spotters. If we go to Weather One, and we'll bring that up, we've got, uh, again, live video from Michael Craddock. He's approaching this storm from the west, uh, from the east, looking off to the west. And Michael, we see your stream, we see the lightning. Tell us what you're seeing and if you got a visual on this tornado. Yeah, at the moment, Dan, I do not see a visual on it. Um, there are trees in the way at the moment. Uh, but I am coming up here close to the Flint Creek area, and then I'll get a better view of it here shortly. And uh, I'll turn the camera toward that direction as well. Okay, so I understand that, obviously, this is a kind of rough and rugged terrain. It's at night. Uh, Michael Craddock is extremely trained. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's been storm uh, spotting for years, and uh, we, I've actually trained him a multiple number of times, and he's attended several weather classes. So we don't recommend, and everybody does this, uh, by the way, to go out and track a storm. But we have to know exactly where this is, how large it is, and where it's on the ground. But Leach, you are in immediate path of this tornado, and you need to take protective action immediately uh, from this thunderstorm. But we do have an alert day, and I started putting that on there, and I know this is four days out, and uh, you're like, wow, that's pretty early to have an alert day, but it's actually going to be an early morning alert night. So, I mean, we're talking while you're sleeping, overnight Sunday into Monday, the potential for strong storms coming through is starting to increase even more. Now, it doesn't last all Monday, so Monday late morning into the afternoon, those storms will be gone, but uh, it's going to be a turbulent sleeping night Sunday, but we'll get you through it. That's mm -hmm. what we do, and we'll watch it closely. Yeah, you're going to have a busy weekend ahead of you. It looks like it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. Now, this storm right here, I mean, we're, we'll just continue to watch this and see if we have anything. Yeah, it's right there. Are we seeing one? Right in the middle there? Boy, it sure kind of looks like it, doesn't it? If those power, if you see power flashes right in the middle, that looks very ominous. Yeah. Okay, I think we got a new tornado warning. Yep, they just reissued. Yeah. Uh, and we might have something. Let's bring up this camera full on the Prod PC. So right in here, we were watching this. If you bring me up on the, the Prod PC in front of the wall, there's the new tornado warning. There's our storm spotters. Right in here. I don't know what that is, but that looks a little ominous, and we can see how low that is. Now, if that is a tornado, and we start seeing blue sparks firing up, not this, this is all lightning, but if we start seeing blue sparks, which is power lines that are exploding and transformers, then we know we've got a tornado here. Uh, it is, it is, yeah, and it's lit up, so I'm going to move this over. Let's go ahead and we'll uh, take our weather bug camera out of Siloam again. But what's, what's crazy is it's got really strong circulation on the leading edge of that, almost strong enough where it could be producing a rain-wrapped tornado. But we're not seeing any, we're not seeing any power flashes, so that's right. good news uh, for now. So hopefully that remains the case. But this is, uh, again, that area that, that he was mentioning, and we're not seeing the power go out either, and our camera is still in Shaking operating condition. Yeah, the winds are, winds are picking up. No debris signature on the radar, but this is Allen Elementary. If you're just joining us, and, and <laughs> knew this wouldn't be a fun night to sleep, 
uh, but hopefully you're up and, and you're watching. You can bring me up on the wall here. I, I said Ox 3. I'll do that here in just a second. Uh, but there's a look at the storm in Salem Springs. There's that circulation. And then right here, the leading edge of the rain core. And, and it's amazing how rapidly everything is changing. So now this is starting to become rain wrapped. We could see the wind starting to pick up. Uh, heavy rain, lots of lightning, tremendous amount of lightning. Thankfully, the camera is still holding on. This is crazy. You can actually see we're looking off to the south, and you can see the winds racing in from the east. So that is inflow into this storm. There's a lightning flash right there. Now the brunt of the storm is coming over the Allen Elementary weather bug camera. Uh, typically, these like to get struck by lightning. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't. Uh, you can see those those rain curtains now racing in towards the center of the storm. So uh, this is where we would see power flashes if it happens. Let's go to the radar here and give them a quick look, quick glance at what's happening. Let's go to Mega Doppler. There's that circulation. This is within a tornado warning that goes until 1230. Uh, we've got one of our storm spotters, James Hilger, on the north side of that. We've got uh, also some hail that potentially is coming down. That's quarter size hail. That's what that triangle represents with the one. Uh, and uh, there's the circulation now on the south side of Salem. Let's go back. Uh, keep watching that camera. And uh, now, yeah, now you can see the winds racing almost straight from out of the north. So we've got easterly winds, northerly winds. Now we're looking at a tremendous wind shift. Winds are moving in different directions here. Look at how strong that camera is moving. You guys have me? Yeah, yeah, Colby, I got you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I've got you. I'm at the uh, intersection of uh, I-49 and Weddington right now, and I'm only getting uh, rain that's just started. I'm only getting about 50 mile an hour winds right now. But, of course, Whoa. tons of lightning and no hail. Hold on just a sec. We have a tremendous, okay, uh, the winds have just dramatically shifted yes. in the Rogers area. The camera is shaking around violently. Yeah, this is, in, this is uh, that was a significant wind change. Sorry, it's actually moving the camera right now, and I think it might have just went offline. The camera is literally moving. Is that an update to it? Sorry, Colby, hold on. We just got, uh, I think we've got a potential touchdown. We can see lights going out in the Rogers area. It's so tough at night, but there's these, sh these winds are shifting dramatically. You can see how much that camera is shaking, too. Could be a strong tornado as it's moving through Logan County. Let's go to correlation coefficient, the CC, the tornado debris. Oh, wow. And I think we've got it now, debris signature. Yep. So what a TDS is, in case you're wondering and you're watching this on television, is uh, it's a tornado debris signature. So the radar sends a pulse in a vertical and horizontal motion. And when there's blue that shows up on the screen, that tells you that the, all the objects that are in this area are of different size and shape. So think about tornado debris. If you throw that up in the air, you're going to see all different sizes and shapes. And so the radar is able to pick that up at night. Very key. Still continuing. This is definitely a TDS here. Now let's put the CC on there. Let's put that correlation coefficient, which can tell you exactly where the tornado is. Let's put the streets on there. Now remember, there is a little bit of a tilt yeah, to the radar to beam, so the tornado could be a little bit farther south. So uh, let's go ahead and put the put some of these streets on here, and we'll see exactly where this is at. Okay. Let's see. So we've got Rich Mountain Road Byway. Okay, if you are, you're literally getting impact by the storm. Red Bench Road, oh, there's the circulation the moving northeast. So let's go a little bit farther ahead so we can give them a heads up. In Logan County, these are very rural areas. Home Cemetery, if you live in the 200 block of Home Cemetery, very rural area, you are about to be impacted by this storm. St. Louis uh, Valley. Valley. Yeah, Valley. Valley Road. So it truncates it, it kind of cuts off that. Uh, we'll continue. Pan, go ahead and, and uh, pull the, the radar image to the northeast. There we go. And so we've got Subiaco, east of Subiaco. Old Military Road. Okay, there's another one. Uh, this right here is a highway uh, uh, east of Subiaco. So we got State Highway 22. And uh, those are the areas where this storm is going to be crossing. Watch the polygon here. You're going to see how see that's a red line. You're going to see two red lines and a black line in the middle right there. And there's a confirmed tornado. This is so important. This is with our mega Doppler source, and nothing else will do this. But it lets you know, of course, tornado warnings are bad enough. But when they're confirmed by radar, they're confirmed by spotters, 
that makes it a little more heightened. So you got to know which ones to discern. And here's a look at Mega Doppler, and there's that circulation. So let's zoom in. This will give you a really good idea of where that circulation is. Yep, there's some yellow colors that are starting to show up. Let's do some roads on here because yep. this will be key. And, and, and by the way, if... if Stay Highway 292 anywhere around Right that. now, take your tornado precautions. Yeah, between, uh, this is Ludwig going to produce Hager, a tornado. Uh, let's see, it's also headed for uh, Webb Road. It's already there. The yeah. storm's moving so fast. Webb Road. Go up a little bit higher. Strawberry let's, Loop. Okay. It's heading for Strawberry. Strawberry, um, we know that area. January Trail. 8th, there's a big tornado that came through January 8th of 2008. Very similar to this time of the year. Big severe weather outbreak in Strawberry early in the morning on January 8th had a fatal tornado. Yeah, Stay Highway 123, uh, Strawberry Loop, um, Sleepy Hollow Lane up in Strawberry. Um, let's go ahead and plot some of those roads if you can. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. So there's Strawberry Loop. Now these kind of, they get cut off, but there's the Stay yeah. Highway. You can just read it. You can just read it off because we've got the actual addresses, the block numbers, just to give you that exact of an idea. Road. There it is. That's definitely strengthening. Yeah. If you live anywhere where we're plotting these roads, you need to get to your safe place right now. That's downstairs, under something, center of the house, keep away from windows. It's the acronym DUCK that we talk about all the time. This is in eastern Johnson County. This is headed your way. Most likely a tornado. That's headed straight up Strawberry still, Loop. Still observed. And this is a tornado prone area.